Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. At the end of the last episode I was having problems with the tree farm and I figured it out. It was relatively straightforward. I didn't have enough storage capacity. Whoops, quickly drop down and have a look. So what I did is I upgraded these um, bins here. So this is now an elite bin and this one here is also full as it happens and that is a um, an advanced bin. As you can hear, so let's put that away. I will um, make another one of those advanced bins later on. I don't need those with me. Because it's already full. And it doesn't help very much when it's full, because this has only got to fill up these three. And things then aren't coming out of this chest. I'll have a quick look at this chest here. I've got space for the time being. Okay, good. I think I made that a double chest as well. So the next thing I did is I moved the windmills up here. I'm not sure if I had a solar panel before, but because I moved them up about 10 blocks or so, they actually improved the efficiency of those by about 10%. 10, 10 All right, here's my fast horse. Actually, horses, strangely enough, have different uh, speeds. Let's get onto that one, and we can go down this way. So this one, if I look at the bottom here, it's actually got, uh, I think it's a 14 horse thing. So it actually goes faster and it jumps further than other horses. I haven't found a horse that's yet so far faster than this one, but I'm sure they exist. What I've also done is I've moved everything. So now, i just wait a few seconds, but before I get off the horse, then it, then it sounds less of a chance of disappearing on me. So right, there we go you on this post over here and let's go in and have a look at what I've been doing. So I've moved all the machines and I've configured them with the transporters configuration and the sorter pipes here. So this enrichment chamber, haha, -ha, is a logistical sorter and what I've done with it is um, basically got different ores. So here we've got uh, diamond ore, redstone ore, lapis lazuli ore and um, redstone, uh, coal ore are all being sent to the dark aqua channel. And if you go further down, I've got some of the same with Osmin ore. And here I've got an ore dictionary where it's basically set ore stars. And what that does is everything with the name that starts with ore in the ore dictionary will get sent here, except for those things above it. And they will then be sent to their channel. So how this is working, it's a bit complicated, but actually not that difficult. When you actually get to it. So each of these machines here, I've basically configured them all the same. So on the on the transporter configuration here, this is the first color. So if you do shift here, shift left click, and then right click, that takes you the left pack one. So if you left click it, it takes you through each color. So you got blue, dark blue, dark green, dark aqua, dark red, purple, indigo, and actually, what each one of those machines is then that number. And on the uh, side configuration they're all configured the same so the dark red is the input dark blue is the output so that everything's input on the top and output on the bottom and the energy is coming from the back side which you can see if we go around here so basically I've basically moved all of the energy actually the energy is coming yes it's in the back side here like that and underneath here we've got the transporter pipes Go back to this, so each one of these machines has got the same configuration. And the output here is black. You can't see the word black. It's a bit of a com bad choice of black on black, but there we are. Um, and the side configuration is the same. So what we have, of course, is a purification chamber, the crusher and the enrichment chamber. And here I've got the metallurgic infuser. And this one is configured, oh, I didn't show you that. Let's have a look at that quickly. That's the dark red. So that's actually the fourth. This is the fifth. This is the Osmin um, compressor. And the last one here is a, the smelting factory. Like that. And that's configured for the last colour, which was indigo. So if we look at that, there we go. And now everything's out, output on black. And the reason for that is then it prevents anything going into the machines from anywhere that, where they shouldn't do. So let's come along here, for example, and take a stack of iron. Easiest way to show you these things. 
and I can turn all these machines off and on. At the moment they're all on, let's just turn them all off and you can see what's happening better. And we'll also, we can also do the same for the sorters, we can turn those off and on as well. So we can put the stack of iron in here and nothing happens. And it's fairly easy, if I wanted for example to take this or uh, oak sapling and configure this so this goes into the crusher which is a second colour so that'll be dark green. You'll get used to this in a while. We can do a new filter, we can do a stack item, put it in here and then simply left click this twice and then that's that. Save that. So anyway back to the metals. So what happens first of all you get you put your ore in here there it was so that goes to the dark blue which is the first channel i'll actually move the clumps up so the dark green one here is the, is the crusher so it, from the output of the purification chamber you get clumps from the output of the clumps you get dirty ores so they then go into the enrichment chamber and come back as um clean ores refined ores i suppose and here i've got the um the redstone signal set to high that's why the switches are working like this the same on the sorting pipe you can do this i was showing the sorting pipe, the same in everything so now when i turn this on you see that the ores go out of here go through the go through the um, purification chamber which is turned off so we turn it on and they will come back out on the bottom here as black and come into here as clumps so we'll, we'll turn that off again so you can see what happens and in a few seconds time we should get some clumps and the reason i've decided to split these two up is we don't always want all of the ores like gold ore is used for speed upgrades and osmin ore is used for energy upgrades or the other way around i'm not sure which and here we get the iron clumps so the iron clumps is well when they do those they will go to the crusher so we turn that on and there we go some iron clumps coming out let's turn that off again they'll go through there fairly fast as you can see i turn that on now because this has got speed upgrade in it and you look at that it's got the maximum speed upgrades so here we should be getting some dirty iron dust and some iron clumps so the next time is the dirty iron clumps will get sent out of here and put into the um enrichment chamber here which is also turned off like that so I can turn that on. You'll see I had didn't turn off the crusher, so the crusher is still working, crushing the uh, the ore from the purification chamber, like that. So I turn this on now, and these will get processed through here. If I did it, I haven't done it on yet. And these will come out into here as refined iron dust or straightforward iron dust, and you'll see those coming in here. As I say, you don't always want to do that. So what I've done is a solution to this. I want to take these iron dusts here and I want to stick those into that. Put this one, set this one up as well. And that one is still, turn it off. And what I've done with this one is all I want to do with the iron dusts here is to bring those down and to send those to, I think it's, yes, it's this ore dictionary one. This is just dusts. So if I put an any iron dust in here, they should just go to the that one, which was, let's go back again. That's the indigo channel, which is the last one. I'll move the redstone one up actually. Which is the first, which is a smelting furnace, save that. And turn this on again. Try that. And you'll see that the iron dust come out here and they will end up. And you'll see that the boxes are coloured as indigo. It's not that easy to see. And they all come into the smelting furnace factory here in fact the smelting factory is turned on I haven't set the the switch here Let's turn that off again as you can see now I've turned it on and they'll come back here as ingots what I can also do is let's say I take eight of these out of here and put those into the enrichment chamber which is here so if I put these eight 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 sixty four so they'll come in here and make 64 redstone and then I could take the, a stack of these iron ingots out of here and put them into this into this one and that's configured so that they go into the enrichment chamber and they will turn out then as to be um, enriched alloy. 
And I can do the same thing with diamonds. Let's go and get some diamond door. Let's get about eight. Put those into the bottom chest. And that will then send those out to the enrichment chamber for um, to be changed into diamonds. So at the moment we have in here 14 diamonds. So 14 plus 8 be 16. So we should get about 30 diamonds in here when everything's processed. There we go. And I want to take eight of these out of here as well. I shall take four. And I'm going to put those in the top chest here. And they're going to be sent now again to the enrichment chamber. And they should turn out to be compressed diamonds. I'll come back here quickly. So at the moment I've got three, so I've just sent in four, so I should get another four of these. That's right, C7. What I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to put these four into this hopper. Because this machine is configured slightly different than the others. It's got a, a purple, the infused side. And that comes back into, let's go look into the machine, into here. So the diamonds come in there. So now I've got 32. So what I'm now going to do is to take 32 enriched alloy and put those up here. And they're getting sent out again, and they're going to go into the metallurgic infuser to produce the atomic or the reinforced alloys, I think. As you can't see, because they're coming again, they come straight out into here. Now, one thing I did want to do is I wanted to be able to turn on automatically to send the dusts out of here. So sometimes you want to send the dusts out because like iron dust, you need a lot of iron, iron ingots. So let's go and get and make another logistical sorter. So for that, I need. See, I've labelled the bits and pieces here. I need some. I need some parts. So I need actually nothing in there. Raw materials and parts. So I need a piston and I need some. I think it's one control circuit and some iron ingots like that so now the sorter is that one and that's just the, the recipe for that we can make one sorter I also would like from in here I have to click the bottom because now ah, I've got two I'll take one of these levers and I'm going to put this on the bottom on the side of this one in fact I may be able to put it on the top but I'm not 100% sure so I'll put it uh, here actually I wonder if it can put it on the top something I haven't tried and what I want to do here is I want to create a new a new filter for iron dust so here we got iron dust here yeah. and so I'll create a new filter for this so I'll use the stack item one for this and I'm going to click that there and I'm going to simply save it. I'm not going to say give it a colour. You can give it a colour, but in this case I don't need to because it's only got one destination to go to. Well, certainly at the moment. So we save that. And then I'm also going to change this to being high and I'm going to put a switch. This is where I wanted the lever onto here. The basic, oops, what did I just do? Put my personal chest on there, brilliant. Right, try again the personal chest personal chest by the way are great oh I didn't and we we did program this didn't we we didn't put it in let's put it through there and we should go through the crushing the crusher and come back here as biofuel there it comes do biofuel fantastic now the next thing I want to do is to take I've got these reinforced allies I want to do four of those so I'm going to take these out of here. Getting a little bit confused on it. Let's go and finish off the first thing. And I want some. So what I would like from here, let's take some basic universal cable and some logistical transporters. In fact, I don't need the iron ingots for the time being. And we'll simply connect these to that up here like this. 
think that would connect through, yes. So now when I flick this switch on, it should send the iron dust into here. Let's just take one of these iron dust out of here, for example. I've got one with me, put an iron dust in here, and that gets sent out. And that iron dust should be, end up in here in the basic smelting factory and come back as an ingot. Looking down there, that is done, and it's going back in again. So now what I want to do is to take all of this here. I've got 63 in here, plus this lot, so it's quite a, a stack. We'll turn it on. And these all get sent out. You see, they're not in boxes. And they'll come into here, and then they'll get color-coded with indigo to go into the smelting factory here. And all of them will come back as iron ingots into that chest. A bit complicated, but great fun to set up. And actually good fun to watch as well. So, it's, so I'll turn this one off, because I generally want that one off. Maybe I could even use a switch on that instead of a... I just press it when I want something to go through. And as you can see, iron ingots coming in nicely. Sort that, put everything together. Because what I want to do next is I would like to mm, do a digital miner and get the digital miner to use the, um, uh, what this thing, it's called the quantum entangler porter. A bit complicated name. So here we've got the digital one. So this. And I'd like to make another one of these. So to do that, we need some more components. That's why I've come back here. So let's have a look at the recipe for this one. Uh, I'll move it down here. Because when I press R, it doesn't smooth it around. So let's have a look at the recipe for this. I have to do E for something and then go recipe. Right, so we need a teleportation core. In fact, we're going to need a few of these teleportation cores. So these are the atomic alloys. And the atomic alloys are red refined. Um, well, I'm going to use the compressed obsidian with the reinforced alloy to make these. So let's go and make. That's why I got these with me here. So let's go and do that. So what I can do here is I can put these into this hopper. I can, I can put them directly in, of course. But if you're doing a lot, it makes sense. So 32. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to check, configure this sorter here to send these into the same place into the dark red channel, which is the same as the um, enrichment chamber. So let's do a new filter. Let's do a stack item. Let's take one of those here and make it dark red. That's four. Save that. Uh, come down to the bottom here and we'll just move this up. Keep everything together. Okay. And we'll just simply put in these 32 reinforced alloys into here. And we shall get back from here the atomic alloys. We need a few of both of these actually. So coming through here. And we also need to make some more of these. So I've got 32 more of these. And I would like to make some diamonds. So let's just take one of these out of here and these out of here. Let's put those in. Let's put that diamond to this chest so it gets sent out into the enrichment chamber. And we'll put into here these diamonds, which you can't shift click by the way. So that's going to make another 30, 24 plus the one that's just come back here. Uh, maybe enough actually. And we'll put these 32 in ratchet alloys in here. They should can then come out and can begin into the enrichment chamber here. I'll put that one in there like that. So now we've got 32. And those are now going to be coming back out as the reinforced alloys like this. Are the reinforced alloys? Atomic. It's not sorted, is it? Let's sort it. Reinforced alloys. And at the same time, we're going to make another stack of these. So we need eight more of these. Put those into the top. Put these over here. As you can see, things come into here. 64. The iron ingots should have come out of here. Didn't put them in. Oh, did I? Of course I did. Hold on. Double check. If I left with some at the end, I'll just take them out. No big deal. 
So right, all of this is all quite a lot of processing just to get this stuff ready. So let's get it out now. I think I'm not sure I need any enriched alloy, but we'll just take it in case. So that does behave slightly strangely. I'll take some of those and take some iron ingots as well. Alright. Now we'll come over here and we should have enough to do to create another few teleportation cores. So the recipe for this is that one. So I'm missing gold ingots. I should be in here. I've got 11 gold ingots in here. Let's try again. That'll make five. I think five is well, four will do. Control shift on those and it'll move everything out like that. So now we've got four teleportation cores. I'm only going to make one of these, but I'm also going to make uh, some teleporters. But I think I'll save that for the next episode because we've got another job to do. Right now, quantum entangler recipe. So we need some ultimate circuit controls and I need to make these first of all and I still need some of those let's have a look I should have those in here I've got four in fact I've got some elite control circuits as well so I will need some of these and I think that's possibly about what we need we'll see try again so we've got that that what are we missing now just these two Right, we need two of those, don't we? So let's try another one. Um, we should shift click to yes, we've got another two. That'll do. And if you want to make more of these, you just press the recipe. Uh, better sort, do a recipe first of all, middle click it, and then do a recipe. And uh, we could do some of these as well. So five. And let's do one more of these. Right. Now, back to this. So now I do have enough items to do this. And this is really quite clever. So let's just take out of here, I think I've got in this chest some chests I have, I guess, good. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna just set it up and test it first of all. So I'll put down a chest say here, and another chest say here, and then I'm going to put beside those the two quantum entanglers one here and one here and then I'm going to configure these so at the moment there's no channel set so we'll just set channel 1 click that and then it sets that one and then select that one so that's now frequency 1 it's public you could make it private if we shared servers which we're not and I want the side configuration so I think I want to have an auto eject on and I want to output onto the left hand side here for items. You can do the same with fluids, gases, energy and heat, which you can't eject. But So that should now put items out of here into, let's put some stuff in here, let's put, the, let's put in here that. In fact, I've got that the wrong way around, haven't I? Let's just take those out of here, because that's where we want them to end up. So this one here, I've got this one already set. Set that like that, and it's ready. So this time, I want to input stuff from the side here, and send it to this quantum entangler, and let's see if that works. Let's put in, say, 64 of those. Now, is that working? Double so check this, input on this side. And this one here is set to output and the auto eject is on and that should be on that side. So long as I've got everything configured correctly. So let's just get the configurator. That's at the moment it's set to wrench. So let's just shift from M that one. So now it's set to items. So you can see here, these two are items are basically outputs. This chest is still empty. And this is an input. And this chest is still empty. 
So what we can now do, since it doesn't seem to be working, let's just move these chests out of the way. Break that one, pick up the iron and the, and the sandstone, which I didn't mean to break. Move that out of the way, it's too, too strong. And also put it in the right place. Jump in that hole again. Oh dear. Getting in these holes is quite tricky. Right. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to put some logistical transporter here, pipe. And I'm going to put the chest beside it. Like this. And I'm going to tell this to output. So let's I think we're on configurator. So if I shift right click this, that should output stuff out of there. And I'll see if that works. So let's just try opening this chest now. Put in those 64. And you can see this time they are going into here. And they are coming out here. This is exactly what I want. Now what I want to do with this is I want to go and take the digital miner. I'm going to take a long way away because I can't get it to um, auto pull. I think that may be a problem. And um, so let's just change this back now to wrench mode and then send everything here. That's working just fine. Move those out of the way and then break everything up. So that's the one I want to take with me. And we'll leave that chest here. And I'm going to put that one into the minor chest in here. Oops, I can't do that, of course. Where's it gone to there? And we'll also put all of these parts away as well before we go away. Otherwise we end up with a full inventory and we can't do anything. Quite a lot of bits, actually. And do need the pipes and conduits, and they will keep this with me as well. And I'll keep this chest with me, just in case. Uh, this one here we can do is the same thing. Just break that. And of course it'll break the pick up the iron as well and here we just pick up this one so what I'm going to do this is the receiving side as I'm going to put this over here beside this chest and I think I can even put it here so what it will also do is it probably connect up the energy as well so I probably can actually send some energy from here as well so let's just put it there and let's make sure we've got the configuration, so that's output ejecting. So that will then come into this chest and then the chest will sort it. Let's just change this. I need to go back to items mode. And I'm going to change this end here to being none. So nothing gets sent out of the chest, but it should get received. Then we can see what's actually happening. I'll just remove this chest here. and put those back into here and I don't want the iron ingots with me either let's put those in here so that chest so we've got plenty we got a reasonable amount of things in there now I would like to take the miner with me I'm also going to take some wind generators because where I'm going to go is the extreme hill so that should be a good place digital mine I don't need the configurator but I do want the quantum and I'll take a lever just in case in fact I don't need those there let's just put that like that so got some food and we'll just uh, I wouldn't want to move out of the way I shall move this out of the way to start with because we're going to go and take the horse is it night time it's coming up to night time. So we'll see how far we get if I can get out of the door. Right, there we go. Right, I'm on the horse. So I actually marked a place where I want to put the miner. So I could give, give me an eye on the mini map to see what's going on. And I think I've also marked roughly where I want to put the horse as well. The horse is great for deserts and savannah, but it's a bit difficult when you've got lots of trees. Just go around here. We should be able to get under these trees, okay. Oh, the rabbit come out of the way. If it's desert. Oh, it's quite good. You can jump over the 
over the desert and things like that. What I need to do... Oh, that's good. There is a savannah village over here as well. If we go past the savannah village... I'm actually having to concentrate because it's actually surprisingly difficult. What I'll do is I'll put the horse around about here. So for that, I've just got a lead and a fence. I think I've got a fence in my personal chest. Let's quickly have a look at that. Yes, I have. Oh, fence post. I only want one, actually. And it's coming to night time. Let's put the fence post down, say, here. I can't reach. There it is. Shift off the horse, get the lead out, tie the horse to the post, and quickly put a marker here. Be, I'm going to say it's a horse, so I can find it again. Save that. I may even have another horse. Let's have a quick look for this. Control B to have a look at the. Oops, must have, must have missed control. I think I have another horse here. Let's remove that one. And. What I'll do quickly is I'll have a quick sleep because it's obviously night time. I can sleep on this tree probably. Yes, I can. And while it's night time, I'll have a quick slip of tea. Now it's morning, so let's we can walk to the digital mine. It's not very far away now, it's just 200 meters. And oh, there shouldn't be too many mobs around. We're traveling on a horse through this terrain, is actually really quite awkward. Whereas you can walk it fairly straightly, there's a skeleton. Let's sort them out first of all, and a spider. Oops, a bit higher. because that repairs the machines and there's the spider I can hear him where's he gone to there got quite a lot of from those few didn't I well, anyway I only want the XP really I don't want the string so off we carry on and what next episode I'm going to do is I'm going to do some teleporters because with teleporters you can travel a lot faster and you don't have to do all of this. Especially when you've got a machine like the, um, the Digital Miner. Because I've decided to place it a long way away because I don't want the holes underneath the ground. And this one has emeralds, even though there's no use for emeralds in this particular mod pack that I can find. Nearly there now. Oops. Well, I missed that as a big hole, but fortunately, it doesn't really affect me very much. So I'll put the miner just to say here. Let's drop this block of snow off there, and we'll put the miner some round about here. I think here would be good. And what I'm going to do here is I've got some dirt with me, I think. I think it's mostly in the chest, actually. Yes, I've got 20 of those. I'm going to just make a little pile. Because what I want to do here is I want to... Uh, oops, digital chest, wrong one. Pick that up. Nice thing about this is you can do that without dropping anything. So let's put that down here. In fact, it might be the wrong place. Yeah. Because this is where I would like to put the... Um, windmills so let's put the basic universal cable out here it needs to be out four so let's probably do it the easiest way um just put it down like that and then shift and put it across here like this so we need four cables well that's three four i need to be in them in the way I'll put it down like that and then i can attach the windmills to those Later on, what I'll do is I'll use a, I'll, I'll power them differently. So let's get the two, and put those bones out of the way. 
wind generators. Put them on here. And then it needs turning around. And I should be able to put the last one on there as well. Um, now where's the configurator gone? Let's just quickly turn those around. And it wants to be set to um, wrench mode. Because with wrench mode you can simply right click and it will turn them 90 degrees. There we go. Like that and like that. They're now connected. So this is now ready. Oops, and I've just turned this around. Which I didn't want to do. So on the back of this I'm going to take one piece of pipe, the transporter, like this. And the reason I've done that, oh wrong one. I'm in wrench mode so I can press shift. It's quick to go under here. Pick it up. So I want the transporter now. I'm going to put one piece of transporter there and on the back of that I'm going to put the um, digital uh, quantum, quantum endo entangler porter. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Like that. And it won't be configured correctly because of the way I'm placing it. Well, I don't think it will be. So now we need to come back here and then we check this to uh, re reconfigure this to be items. Or maybe, see that's the Actually, that's the input face. Actually, that's correct. So that should now work. So let's have a look at the. I, let's have a look at this machine now. So it's not yet set. We have to set that, and we have to. Items eject is off, which is correct, and they're coming in from that side. That's correct. So that should be all I need to do with this one. Ah oh yes, now it's connected. It looks looks correct. And now we just need to config configure the uh, digital miner. Last thing I was doing with this was to uh, sort of do terraforming on the desert base. So what I've got in here is sand. So let's just clear this one away and change the depth. So minimum depth I'm going to set to be zero. zero maximum is 91, which is fine because we're over 100 at the moment. And we're going to do a new filter and we're just going to do an or dictionary of or star and save that and we'll remove this sand one here and it's inverted off that's fine and we probably maybe will set that to silk touch which is on auto pull doesn't seem to work i haven't got it to work yet i've tried all sorts of things um let's just start that now, I reckon that those should also be sent out. But maybe I have to go back home to get things to work properly because I probably didn't set the channel on the output on the other one. So, things look good. I will make the markers already here, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's go off now and get the horse, which is over there. And go back to the base. In fact, it should be possible to get a bit nearer with a horse. But I don't have any really fast way, but it looks like a mob over here, so let's just make sure we don't have any mob problems. Don't see one probably underground. Well, I've got my free runners on, so I don't care about the drops. I'll fly over these trees, probably easier than going through them. Because this is a roofed forest. And the horse is over here. Roofed forests are actually fine. Good fun. But a bit difficult to get through sometimes. There's some funny blocks suddenly by itself. So we're nearly back. And hopefully, when I've done all of this, this is where the teleporter is a bit more useful because you, if, you, if you screw it up, you can easily f come and fix it afterwards. So the horse should be anywhere around about here. Where's my horse gone to? Oh, gone past it. So 
So I'll leave this there. We don't care about one fence post and we'll get the horse. And I always do that. It's very easy to do. Right, click it. Right, so we now need the desert base. We'll just go around the side of this village. Savannah village is built with Arcadia wood. And we'll go around the side of this here. There's a big hill. We could go over it with a horse. Basically, I want to go towards the desert. In fact, this bit might be easier to get over with the horse as well. Because it doesn't, horses and water don't really work that well. Well, let's just try jumping it. Oh, yeah, managed. And it's the fastest way to travel. And horses have different levels as well. This is a, a 14 horse, as it were. And, but they do take damage like other, every, everything else. Uh, front door, I want the base, which is over here. And at the bottom on the right hand side, just they've got the health of the horses. They represent the speed as well that they travel, as far as I can see. So this is the fastest horse I've found so far. And it doesn't take that long to get back. Let's just wait a second, shift to get off. Put my lead back on it, because it doesn't want it wandering off somewhere. Like that. Oops. Come into here, which I forgot to close the door. Ah, and with a bit of luck, once I've set this going, we should get things into here so it's not set as you can see so now with a bit of luck items are going to come in so it's working fine so I don't have to go to the digital miner all the time now and what I then of course I can do is I can simply then take this pipe here I think I'm configured to items still yes I am and I can shift right click this one till it gets to the pool and everything will be automatically sorted into the correct bin. See, so already got quite a lot of stuff in here. This won't go anywhere, of course, granite, because there's no place for it, so it'll stay in this chest. Interestingly enough, it doesn't seem to be sending anything else out. But never mind, that's for another time. Next time, I'm going to do some more teleportation. This time, we'll be able to teleport around much faster. So until then, bye for now.